This PowerPoint presentation video is going to be over how many gallons of chlorine to disinfect a pipe. I do not own any of the questions or material presented in this video. This is for educational purposes. If it helps you learn, that's great. As in all my videos, I have pulled the formulas off of the State of Florida formula sheet. I recommend that if your state provides a formula sheet for taking the exams that you get a copy and use it while practicing the math so you get familiar with it. There should be a little linky do up here in the corner that goes to a video where I briefly overview formula sheets if you haven't seen it. We are going to be using the sodium gallons formula. So we're solving for gallons. So it's going to be pure chlorine required pounds per day divided by the percent purity as a decimal times 8.34 pounds per gallon. We're also going to be doing the pounds per day slash Davidson pie chart because you're going to need pure chlorine required in pounds per day. So we're going to have to solve for that, which is dosage milligrams per liter times flow million gallons a day, which is interchangeable with volume times 8.34 pounds per gallon. There should be a link. I did a video on solving for pounds if you want to do some practice on that. We're also going to have to solve for volume. So for a cylinder, the volume is equal to 0.785 times diameter squared times height because pipes always give you the diameter of the pipe. Remember, volume is in cubic feet. So your diameter and your height slash length for a pipe are going to have to be in feet. So you're going to have to do some conversions there. And also as a side note, uh, if questions do not specify 50 milligrams per liter is what it is to disinfect a pipe. That is the standard from what I understand. If that's wrong, you can correct me. But again, if you're ever taking an exam and you're disinfecting a pipe and it does not otherwise state the milligrams per liter or parts per million, it is going to be 50. Because from what I understand, that is the standard for disinfecting a pipe. Again, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Question number one. Determine how many gallons of 12.5% sodium hypochlorite are required to disinfect 1,100 feet of 8-inch pipe to the standard concentration of 50 milligrams per liter. First, I like to pull out my known and my unknowns out of a word problem so they're easier to keep track of. So what you know is that you have a 12.5% sodium hypochlorite solution. The length of the pipe is 1,100 feet. It has an 8-inch diameter and you're looking for a dose of 50 milligrams per liter. What we don't know is how many gallons of the sodium hypochlorite we will need. So the formula for finding sodium hypochlorite gallons is pure chlorine required divided by the purity as a decimal times 8.34 pounds per gallon times 100%. Well, to be able to solve this, we're gonna have to find the pounds required. So let's go ahead and add pounds required to our unknowns. If Skater will leave me alone for a second, here is our pounds required. So pounds per day is equal to the dosage milligrams per liter times the flow, which can be volume in million gallons times 8.34 pounds per gallon. And Skater does not want to leave me alone. Now that I've stopped my plant from exploding, we can get back into this. So we're going to have to solve for the volume for the pounds formula and we were given diameter so 0.785 times diameter squared times the height or for a pipe the length so far we have three formulas just to solve one simple doses question so i'm going to need a whole nother tree to solve this as discombobulated as the screen looks so let's squash it down real quick so the first formula that we're going to solve for is the volume one and remember, volume is in cubic feet, so guess what? We got a step to do because the length is in feet, but the diameter of the pipe's in inches, so let's convert that. So always remember the units you want to cancel out go on the bottom because they're dead, D-E-D, -E and they're gone, so they're buried underneath. There's 12 inches and a foot, so to get that to convert, you're going to multiply 8 inches by 1 foot over 12 inches, which is going to end up being division, and the inches will cancel out. So when you divide 8 by 12, you get 0.666 feet, which is the number of the beast. So we're going to go ahead and round that to 0.67 and get rid of it. So now we can plug in our formula, 0.785 times 0.67 feet squared times the length of 1,100 feet. And when you do the multiplication, you get 387.6 cubic feet. 
Now remember we need this in gallons, so we're gonna have to convert it. Again, what you wanna cancel goes on the bottom, so 7.48 gallons per cubic feet. So 387.6 cubic feet times 7.48 gallons over a cubic foot. Your cubic feet will cancel out. So when you do your multiplication, you get 2,899.4 gallons. And guess what? We're not there yet because we need it in million gallons. So we're gonna have to do more converting. So it might seem silly for me to have this written out as a conversion, but one mg is equal to one million gallons. And we're just trying to get this conversion stuff to stick in our head. So we want it to cancel out. So the one million gallons will go on the bottom. So you will divide gallons will cancel out and you're left with mg so we did our division and i went ahead and rounded this to 0 0.0029 million gallons so that's our volume so now we can move that to our known column so now we can solve for our pounds formula because our volume is now in the known column so we're going to plug our dosage and flow which is our volume into the formula times 8.34 so we're going to multiply 50 milligrams per liter times the volume of 0 0.0029 million gallons times 8.34 pounds per gallon. So you do that multiplication. And finally, the light at the end of the tunnel, 1.21 pounds per day. So now we can put the pounds required in our known column. So now we can plug everything into our formula. So pure chlorine required, 1.21 which is going to be divided by the percent purity as a decimal. So 0.125 times 8.34 pounds per gallon. So let's plug that into our formula. So I like to go ahead and solve the math on the bottom. So 0 0.125 times 8.34 pounds per gallon. And that gives you an answer of 1.04. So we're going to divide 1.21 pounds divided by 1.04 times 100%. And your answer is 1.16 gallons. And there you have it. A very simple question that is very complicated to answer. How many gallons of 6% hypochlorite would it take to disinfect an 8 inch water main that is 1,899 feet long? The dosage required is 100 parts per million. Let's start by pulling our known and our unknowns out of our word problem. What we know is that there's a 6% hypochlorite solution. The pipe is 8 inches in diameter. The length of the pipe is 1,899 feet. And we're looking for a dose of 100 parts per million. What we don't know is how many gallons of hypochlorite this is going to take. So again, the formula to solve for gallons is equal to the pure chlorine required in pounds divided by the percent purity as a decimal times 8.34 pounds per gallon times 100%. Guess what? We don't know the pounds, so we're going to have to add that to our unknowns. So to solve for pounds, we're going to need another formula. So we'll do the pounds formula. So here we have our pounds formula, which is the dosage milligrams per liter, which is interchangeable with parts per million. They're the same thing. Flow in million gallons a day. The volume of million gallons is also interchangeable and 8.34 pounds per gallon. So guess what? We don't know the volume. So again, we add volume million gallons to our unknown. To solve for that, we're going to do the volume formula. To solve for the volume of a pipe when given the diameter, it's 0.785 times diameter squared times height. Remember, volume formula solves for cubic feet. So everything that goes in, the diameter and the height, of the pipe slash the length of the pipe must be in feet so again we're going to have to convert eight inches into feet remember you put what you want to go away on the bottom because it's dead and buried and gone it's underneath so it cancels out so eight inches times one foot over 12 inches the division will happen because eight times one is eight divided by 12 and that ends up being 0 0.67 feet because we went ahead and rounded it now we have everything plugged into the formula, 0.785 times the diameter of 0.67 feet squared times 1,899 feet. And you get 669.2 cubic feet. Remember, we need gallons. 
There are 7.48 gallons in a cubic foot. We have this set up so they cancel out. So 669.2 cubic feet times 7.48 gallons per one cubic foot. Those cancel out. And you get 5,004 gallons. But remember, we need the volume to be in million gallons. So we're going to do some more converting. There is 1 million gallons in a million gallons, believe it or not. So we have this set up, so it'll cancel out. So 5,004 gallons times 1 mg over a million gallons. Your gallons is going to cancel out. You're going to do division. And you get 0 0.005004 million gallons. We're going to go ahead and round that. So to solve for the pounds, we have 100 parts per million, which is the same as 100 milligrams per liter, times the volume we rounded to 0 0.005 million gallons, times 8.34 pounds per gallon. So we do the math, and you get 4.17 pounds. So now we can add the pounds to our known column, and we can finally solve our formula. So you have the 4.17 pounds divided by the hypochlorite percent as a decimal, so 0 0.06 times 8.34 pounds per gallon. So we're going to multiply the bottom first, and you get 0 0.5004. So now you're going to divide 4.17 divided by 0 0.5004, and you're going to times that by 100%. Uh, that step's pretty much unnecessary because you're just going to be multiplying it by one and the answer is 8.33 gallons how many gallons of 12 percent hypochlorite would it take to disinfect an eight inch water main that is 1899 feet long the dosage required is 100 parts per million so first we're going to pull our known and our unknowns out of our word problem so what we know is the Hypochlorite strength is 12%. The diameter of the pipe is 8 inches. The length of the pipe was 1,899 feet. And the dose is 100 parts per million. What we don't know is how many gallons of hypochlorite we need to disinfect the pipe. So to find the gallons of hypochlorite, it's the pure chlorine required pounds per day divided by the percent purity as a decimal times 8.34 pounds per gallon times 100%. We don't have the chlorine required in pounds, so that's our next formula we need. We're going to add the pounds to our unknown. The formula for pounds is dosage milligrams per liter times the flow or the volume in million gallons times 8.34 pounds per gallon. Well, to solve this, we need volume. We don't have the volume, so we're going to add volume to the unknown column again. So now we can solve for the volume. So we're going to pull out the volume formula to solve for the volume of the pipe when given diameter. It's 0.785 times diameter squared times the height or the length of the pipe. Volume is in cubic feet, so we're going to have to convert again our 8 inches into feet. So 8 inches times 1 foot over 12 inches because you want the inches to cancel out. They go on the bottom. And we do the division and we round so we don't get the number of the beasts. We're going to do 0.67 feet. Now we can plug this into our formula. So 0.785 times 0.67 foot squared, so times itself, times 1,899 feet. That's going to give us an answer again of 669.2 cubic feet. This looks awful familiar. It's almost like it was the last question, but we have a different percent hypochlorite. Anyway, we need this in cubic feet. There are 7.48 gallons in a cubic foot, so 669.2 cubic feet times 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. Cubic feet on the bottom, so it cancels out. We get an answer of 5,005 gallons. What do we need to do with this? We need to convert it to million gallons. So again, there are a million gallons in one million gallon, believe it or not. To get this to convert, we're going to divide because we want gallons to go away. So we have the 5,005 gallons divided by 1 million gallons. The gallons cancel out. 
we get an answer after rounding of 0 0.005 million gallons. So now that we know the volume, we can plug it into our pounds formula. So again, we had a dose of 100 parts per million, which is the same as 100 milligrams per liter times the volume of 0 0.005 million gallons times 8.34 pounds per gallon. And that gives you 4.17 pounds. So now we can plug this into our hypochlorite gallons formula. So you have 4.17 pounds of 100% pure divided by the percentage of hypochlorite as a decimal. So 0.12 times 8.34 pounds per gallon. So we're going to do the math on the bottom first. That's 1.0008. So now you're going to divide that into 4.17 and then multiply it by 100%. Again, that's really an unnecessary step because multiplying it by 100% is multiplying it by 1. And you end up with an answer of 4.17 gallons. So that was three questions solved for gallons of bleach to disinfect a pipe. It's quite a few steps again for a simple question. Remember, standard for pipe disinfection is 50 milligrams per liter from what I found on the internet. If you find that it's something else, let me know. And uh, hopefully this helped you learn. Thanks. Wait, what? The video wasn't over. I got a little added bonus for you since you made it to the end of this video. So if you want to make this a lot easier, here's a formula that's not on the formula sheet. So to find the number of gallons of hypo, you can times the gallons of water times the required residual parts per million or milligrams per liter divided by 1 million times the hypo percent as a decimal. And it'll give you the same answer and take way less steps, but it's not on the formula sheet. So if you can memorize this, it'll make your life a lot easier. So now that's the end of the video. Thanks.